guys thanks for watching and we're gonna be making some frozen rings or whatever you want to make uh, my little pony I'm making a frozen one and a my little pony one because both my little girls um, love these so I'm gonna show you how to make them and if you're just a kid you can have a parent help you or an older sister or older brother so here we go you can get stickers or whatever you got I just went online and I printed these um, online so I was able to print them I'm gonna cut them out and you're only making them about I'll show you a penny so it's about almost the size of a penny if I cover it, it completely covers a penny up so you're just gonna print those out have those ready on the side or if you have stickers that would be even easier so you're gonna take a piece of paper and you are going to take a you could use a one dollar bill or a hundred dollar bill or whatever I'm just using a hundred dollar bill that's what I had handy and you're gonna put it right in the corner and after you got it in the corner right there perfectly line up the edges with the paper on the end and you're gonna take a pen and you're gonna draw around the other two corners right here so you can mark them and we're marking these two corners okay and once you got that marked you're going to take a scissors and I'll show you what it looks like it's the same size as dollar bill and you're going to cut it Cut along the line that you've just made. And you're going to cut this side too. And what you should have is a, you should have a piece of paper the same size as a dollar bill. And what you're going to do is fold it in half, like that. And then you're going to fold it in half again. So you're going to go two times like that. What you should have is a piece of paper like that. Take your fingernails and run them across so you could crease it down really good. And then I do this and I run my finger like that just to get it to bend. So get it to bend around because remember it's going to become a circle when it's done. Okay so just play with it. Make it so it bends both ways and that way you won't have trouble bending it later. And on the tip right here just bend it slightly about a quarter of an inch. I'll try to show you that little flap right there. It's it's not very big, just a small amount. Fold it over like that. Okay, when you get this all done right here, it's, it should look like that. You're going to take a penny and you're going to put it right above um, this little fold here. And what you're going to do is make another fold just a little bit bigger than the penny or you can go the same size as the penny, it doesn't matter because it's for a kid so it could be a little small just take it and fold it like that you're only using the penny for measurements and the only reason I'm using a penny and not inches or measurements so you kids can follow along okay so it should look like that and then you can take your finger and go like that just to give it a make sure it bends real good okay so run your fingers along it that way your little it should it'll bend around okay so when you got that you're gonna use pennies again and what you're going to do is lay your piece of paper down. After your piece of paper looks like this, you're going to fold it over like that. And you're going to take three pennies and place them right on the back side of your piece of paper. And when you got them all lined up like that, you're going to take a pen and you're going to just make a little mark right there. Okay? And when you got that mark, that mark is going to be the line where you're going to make a bend at. Okay, so watch very carefully. I'm going to try to do this slow for so you guys. So when you got your little mark on this um, piece of paper right here, what you're going to do, that mark right there is where you're going to make a bend at. And what you're going to do is make the bend on the bill right at the crease like that. I'll try to move my fingers out of the way and show you here in a second. So your piece of paper should look like that, okay? And then when you got that done, now if you guys are really crafty, you can do what I'm doing, but you don't have to do this. Um, I'm really good at these, so I've made a, a ton of them. I made, I stuck these side by side on this piece of paper like that. Like I said, each one of these is as big as a penny, and then you're going to have some extra paper here. You'll see why I did that in a second. So take a good look at that. 
And what you're gonna do is just, you could even stick two stickers side by side, if, as long as they're as big as a penny, and then have an extra piece of white paper right here. You'll see why we did that. Okay, so this is where we left off. Your piece of paper should look like this, okay? What you're gonna do is, you're going to bend this piece right here, under, just like that. Okay, again, I'm gonna show you real slowly. Bend it like that. Okay, so you see what's going on. Now you're going to take this part, that's the first part we started with, and you're going to fold it, and you're going to tuck it under there. And I'm gonna show you that again, okay? Because I know it's hard to see it. Again, your new piece that you just folded under, like that, I'm pinching it. You are going to fold this part. I'm gonna go really slow so you can see it. Move my fingers out of the way, sorry. And you're going to put it under there like that. And this piece is going over. And now this piece is gonna go over there. So if you can take a good look at it, I'll try to show it to you. One more time, real slowly. Okay, I know it's tricky. You're going to fold this piece. I'll try to do it from the back side. Fold it over, pinch it right there. I'm turning it around. Put that part over like that. And you're gonna roll it around the bottom. This piece is going to get tucked under right there. And I used a penny and I jammed this up in here and make this little notch bigger. See what I'm doing? To get that to tuck under because you want that piece to tuck. So get it to tuck in there, however you gotta do it, and you should have it tucked in pretty good. Okay, so you should have a ring like that. Should be looking like that, okay? And now what I did is I took a piece of tape, and what you do is, the little flap that goes under like that, if yours looks like mine and you did it right, you're gonna take a piece of tape and hold the ring together. But don't worry, you're not gonna see the tape. So right now, you'll see the tape on top, but the reason we're using the tape, so this um, Elsa and My Little Pony can switch to two different types of rings. So you're going to fold the piece of paper over this area and you're gonna fold it like that and make it real tight and spin it. Okay? And you can actually use a dollar bill to make one of these rings and you could look at my other video that shows you that. And you're gonna take the piece of tape and you're going to tape right over the sticker or the print paper that you have. So now if you want the Elsa ring, you could have the Elsa ring, or you could spin it and go back to the My Little Pony ring. You see? That way, you could have two different rings spinning them whenever you want. Pretty cool, huh? Like I said, you can make a dollar bill and have this spinning on it to change it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up. Bye bye.